First issue I would like to deal with is with regards to the uh, Bailey Bridges. Uh, as has been reported, the Bailey Bridges are on island. Uh, the length of 100 meter, we're able to get um, four bridges from that. And we have approved uh, the four locations for those um, bridges to be erected. The first location is uh, Makushri. You have uh, Batterley, Point Trong, and the fourth one is at Whitaker. Uh, the transportation of those sections of, of the bridges started yesterday, 14th uh, September, and we're hoping to continue today, subject to the crossings, um, because we have to get to Point Trong, subject, subject to the crossings on the West Coast. Um, based on advice received from the Ministry of Public Works, from the Permanent Secretary there, and in consultation with, or with the bridge experts who are here assisting us, um, they've advised, the Ministry of Works has advised, that the Point Trong um, Bailey Bridge will be up against subject to weather conditions, all of it is subject to a number of, of variables, but that they're saying that the Point Trong Bridge will be up by Friday, 18th September 2015. So the first Bailey Bridge will be placed um, on, on Point Trong um, by Friday, 18th September 2015. The second one at Batterley, they're advising that on Tuesday, the 22nd of September 2015, that Bailey Bridge would be up. And the third one, Makushri, they're advising that by Friday, the 25th of September 2015, that bridge, that Billy Bridge, will also have been erected. So the three bridges on the West Coast that have been severely impacted upon uh, will be um, up, um, all three will be up by, the, by, by Friday the 25th of September 2015. In respect, for, to, in respect to Britica, the Britica crossing, more detailed um, survey works are required as the site is more challenging. And those of us who have been there can appreciate this. Um, and the engineering survey team of the ministry has commenced the collection of the necessary data uh, for advising designs. Uh, and we expect the surveys to be completed by Friday the 18th of September. And the other actions which are required, one is the is to complete the designs for the support systems for the bridge. Uh, two, uh, transport the bridge sections to the site at Whitaker. Uh, three, complete road works along the construction route at either side of the gorge. And fourth, assemble and launch the bridge. Um, the approach there is very difficult. You will have to construct a bypass road and to be able to um, to launch the bridge across the bypass. So, in the, uh, so the, the surveys have been done, the engineer, engineers have been there um, on several occasions. The cabinet has given clear instructions that that area is urgent priority because we can only, we need to access um, Dailies and Whitaker. So that's urgent priority for, for, the, for, the, for the country at this time. So we, once the design is done and the surveys are done, we will be in a position to say by what date that bridge will be up. So hopefully by Friday, we'll be in a position to update further on when we will be in a position to come to, come to launch this Bailey Bridge in Boutique. But also say to the residents that, and to the rest of the country that this is a priority for the, for the government, it's a priority for the country. We have to create access to those areas. As we speak, you know, we are making progress in our forward march to access uh, Peter Savan. And that is in an effort uh, to see how we can facilitate a number of residents um, who have their properties, you know, the movable properties um, there, and they'd like to get them out, how we can facilitate them in, in getting that. So we are moving on, uh, trying to get access into Peter Savan. Once that is done, we will work with the residents in a coordinated, organized fashion to get them to have access to some of the movable um, belongings and property. 
In respect to those persons who are in shelters um, and at grammar school, we are in discussion with some private property owners, some guest houses, um, who all have, all have indicated their willingness to to help accommodate those residents, albeit at a cost, and the state will cover the cost associated with housing and and for both boarding and lodging um, at those um, guest houses. Uh, we're hoping that we can finalize the, the cost with um, two of the properties. One has been finalized in terms of what the person is demanding and what the government has agreed to, 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 um, to pay. And um, the two others, they will send us a proposal today, hopefully by the end of the working day, so that the cabinet will be in a position tomorrow to ratify the approval of the Minister of Finance in respect to that. And we will be discussing with the community, with the residents, 94 of them, and to see how we're going to go about assigning them to different properties, taking a number of variables into consideration, not wanting to split the families and so forth. But we feel the new accommodation, albeit for a temporary basis, would um, cause them to be much more comfortable than where they are now at the grammar school and also create more privacy uh, for all of them. The same approach is being looked at in respect to the residents of, of Jubik and also um, some families from Peter Savan who stayed back in Grand Bay. Um, so we're looking at that also um, in respect to the, to the relocation. I had meetings today with the Permanent Secretary, um, Mr. Blackmore, this morning. Tuesday, the 15th of September, in respect to our advancements to the permanent relocation of those affected by the by Tropical Storm Erica. As I said before, we are, we are looking at several sites. The variables have been looked at. We have the, the uh, planning department involved so that we have everybody involved at, at, at stage one in order to, to fast track the process. The necessary surveys have been done for those areas, the topo in some cases, so that um, the cabinet can be advised on the most suitable location, taking all of the matters into consideration um, for the relocation of the several residents. We suspect, um, we suspect that in the next few days we'll be in a position to, to have an idea. We, have, we know the locations, but to, to determine which ones that the, the Ministry of Works, the Ministry of Housing, sorry, is working on this diligently to, towards advising the cabinet. As has been reported, the government of Venezuela has made an offer of 300 homes um, to those affected. We've accepted that offer. Um, the Venezuelans brought in earlier this week, or, or the weekend, sorry, um, one, of, one such structure to be erected because we expect the president of Venezuela to come to Dominica on on Saturday, uh, where he, he will have the symbolic handing over of this one home, but of, of course, making a pronouncement on the 300 homes um, that will be built for those affected by Tropical Storm Erica. Um, the we expect the first 50 homes to be here in the next couple of weeks, and. Um, the Ministry of Housing, the Permanent Secretary, is will advise the Cabinet on how we go about and where we go about um, erecting those homes, so we're trying to move as quickly as possible. The the final point I would like to make is that the LIAT um, technical people came in this morning at Douglas Charles Airport. Um, they came in this morning to set up the computer system because they now have electricity in the terminal building. They have internet connections in the terminal building. The idea is to for them to set up their, their IT system, their computer and ticketing, ticketing system. Um, and we have been advised by LIAT that they will resume flights into Dominica at the Douglas Charles Airport on Wednesday, the 16th of, of September. Uh, again, these are things that we've been advised on. They may change, but this is what um, LIAT has advised us. And we look forward to tonight um, for those um, new schedules to be to be posted by Liat. So progress has been made, you know, it's going to take a long time, but we are seeking to prioritize areas and to see how quickly the government can move in to put temporary structures 
while at the same time planning for more permanent um, structures and permanent arrangements in respect to our response um, to Tropical Storm Erica and our move towards the reconstruction of our country.